think when we talk to our clients around the world, many, many a boardroom, um, we find that sustainable growth is one of the key issues. These days, innovation, innovation in products, innovation in services, most of all, innovation in the entire business model is part of the discussion. And when you drill deeper down into that particular dialogue, you always find, or you, you quite frequently do find, that large corporates, mid-sized companies, our typical clients, do struggle to invent themselves quickly enough to respond to changing customer preference and quite volatile in changing markets. And more often than not, they are tremendously interested in learning from young entrepreneurs, young concepts, and to partner with those. We see ourselves tremendously well positioned to help this dialogue, convene a dialogue between the established corporate world and young entrepreneurs, giving young entrepreneurs and startups a chance to prosper, giving our large clients, larger clients and organizations a very good chance um, to tap into new concepts, new ideas, to tap, tap into innovation as it happens. Innovation very much is a key driver of growth these days. Growth, innovation helps organizations to succeed, it creates employment, it makes economies prosper. And thus overall, when you see all these di dynamics together, you can see how our small contribution admittedly is helping to improve how economy works, how organizations work, how people um, are employed. Why do I believe that EY is quite uniquely positioned to facilitate, to convene a dialogue between these entrepreneurs, 50 of them being, being available in, in Hanover for for a discussion and uh, for possibly partnering with larger organizations. Why do I believe that's important for us, for our clients? Why are we good, well positioned to do that? I think we, we, we do have an eye, an eye on both sides of the equation in a sense. More often than not, you meet large established organizations. People are, are challenged to change their business models, to think out of, to, to use a buzzword and a phrase, to think out of the, the frequently <laughs> mentioned box, so to speak. Um, Whilst, whilst we do see this huge amount of new ideas coming through and we, and we feel we are in a position to kind of vet these ideas in the first stage, to make a good and well-founded selection. Nothing is ever perfect, nothing is ever secure when you talk with innovation, with entrepreneurship, with, with young startups. But to, to have a very good selection available using our experience, presenting that kind of select few, if you will, the most, the most high potential startups we could find this year round, um, I believe we selected from 460, 50 out of 460 from, from 60 countries around the world um, to, to really provide this, this elite view to um, our corporate clients and to, to ensure this dialogue happens. I've been talking about growth as an important priority for many, many boardrooms these days. Innovation, the enabler, or the strategy, if you will. The tools, the enablers these days are largely digital, they are technology, they are big data, to, to use that buzzword again. And these, these tools put to proper use will allow companies to innovate. That's why we are at the E-Trade Fair for technology. And we believe there's a lot to be learned in order to drive innovation, embed innovation, find new applications. In terms of timing, Big data is maturing. We, we are now seeing business models that are, are valid, that are useful coming through. On the other hand side, we see corporations still struggling a bit, making first inroads and first strides into, into big data. Capital is sitting on balance sheets and seeking for investment. And any business leader who is thinking about top line growth will use this opportunity to innovate the business model and to make very good use of new technologies and new applications coming through.